Dirty old turn the garage apart again, Bill Sevier, eh? Freaking right, boys. I pulled the old stuff off the bench and I painted it all black, boys. I know you're gonna say black is darker than dicks, but it is. It really is. Freaking right it is, but I mounted the big TV up there, eh? Freaking right I did. Gave my office to Melanie for her toy room, I did. Because I spend more time in the garage than I do downstairs, so why not turn this into my office slash workshop? Why wouldn't I? But I got so much work to do in here, it's not even funny, boys. It's just a mess. I got, like I said, I've got this done. That done. Next, I gotta clean out that and paint that part. Might paint the walls. I don't know, white maybe in here or something. Just to brighten her up, boys, because the walls look just cocked over. But next summer, I want to tear out all this drywall and insulate it because all it's got is that stupid old school wafer board stuff, eh? That's all it's got, boys. It's got brick, wafer board, studs, and drywall. No wonder why I can't friggin' heat this place. Holy. But anyways, boys, I dropped the old motor there off at Steve's after I got it running there, but he's gonna take it to work. He's gonna give it the hot dip he is. He's gonna dip her down, boys, because we found a couple little balls of copper in there we did. So I wanna make sure she's gonna be mint before I go and throw the thing into the cart, because Steve might want the cart, eh? Steve's thinking about maybe scaffooing up the old Kataruski there once we get her running. Sell it to him, I will. Why wouldn't I? Right, Steve? Friggin' right. Comment below, Steve, if you think that's a good idea. Why wouldn't you? Anyways, not much to tell you today, just kind of a mess in here and I'm just kind of maintenance in it, boys. I gotta go outside and do some leave raking and stuff like that. I wanna move the stereo over. Like I said, I wanna paint the walls in here, but I don't wanna because I gotta pull this down. I wanna get a vapor barrier for the window because the window's just cocked over. I need a new window for there too because it's just cocking the wall over from the moisture, boys. The moisture's getting the best of the wall it is. Look at the picture Melanie made me. Isn't that decent? Freaking right. Freaking right is decent. But anyways, took the old iMac in there. You know about my 27 inch iMac there that quit and I had gatekeeper there. He wanted to fix her up for me and stuff like that. But Apple said, hey, boys, it's under warranty. Bring her in. I was like, all right, I'll bring her in. So I brought her in and uh, power supply's gone. The motherboard's gone. When the power supply went out, it fried the motherboard. Um, you know, it's one of those things, boys, they don't want to fix it. Gatekeeper, you're going to have to spend money too, and I'm going to have to spend money, and it's 2009, so I think I'm just going to quit it, eh? I got the old MacBook Pro I'm using for editing right now, and I think that's what I'm going to keep doing. Freaking right I am. So, Gatekeeper, thanks a lot there for helping out and, and offering to fix that thing, but I don't want to spend $500 on a on an 09 iMac. Boys, she's trying to retire. So, the hard drive's still good in her. I got all my information off of it, and... Uh, if anybody needs a screen for a 27 inch iMac, let me know, boys. Hey? Eh? Right, you should. But uh, I'll wait until maybe next year or something, then purchase myself maybe a, a new one, boys. But right now, the old MacBook Pro's working just fine. I don't have my Photoshop, which I'll have to get somehow, but there's only 128 gigs of memory in that bad boy because it's a flash, eh? Flash drive, boys, so. Kind of cocked over there I am, but. I'll figure it out. I got the old MacBook Mini, or the Mini Mac, or whatever the hell you want to call them there on that computer. So I get all my emails off that one now. So I keep that one freed up for editing, eh? She is what she is, and like I said, thanks Gatekeeper for offering, but buds, I don't want to spend money on her, and I'm not expecting you to do her for free. So, appreciate it, but we're going to leave her alone, we are. Freaking right, I already got a tour apart to drive out of her anyways, boys. So, I said to Melanie, you might as well take my office, Mel, for your toys if you want. Go for it, eh? Why wouldn't you? You know, I start something, then I drop it, boys. This is going to be the new uh, do-everything-in, I guess, which is freaking going to be freaking decent. But I'm going to go in and make myself a coffee, maybe, hey, maybe, and sit back and inhale some more of these fumes from the old paint and get me higher than dicks. Why wouldn't I? I don't like getting high, boys, on paint fumes. Oh, move the screen for the cameras behind me here, too. Now I can view them from any angle in the garage, hey? So if I'm working over on the Carter Ruskies, I can just give her a little turn job and Bob's freaking uncle, boys. That way it frees up my bench. Friggin' right it does. But I did, I should have moved this power doesn't this look just cocked over it looks like a, like red green set up here boys but i should have moved this over to there but i ran out of paint that's why i haven't finished painting down there and this and that but i should have moved that over and then painted but i didn't why would i so i can always move that later hopefully it's not going to be too much black but this is some durable trim clad on here and on the black splash hey eh? so if i grind and 
that paint should be a little bit more durable. Friggin' right, but that thing had to go because my friggin' doodad and whatnot thingamabobber had on there was giving me slivers, hey? I got some friggin' fiberglass in her. So that wasn't very comfortable, it wasn't. But after this all dries up and this and that and the other thing, I'm gonna pull down the old slasherooski there and see if we can't fix her up, boys, cause she's dicked. And I wanna get her going again, I do. Charge up some friggin' batteries and take her for a rip, boys. But, yeah. Other than that, this is what I'm doing. Got some speaker wire for the golf cart. Friggin' right I did. But anyways, this is what I'm doing, boys. Nothing, hey? Just painting. Not much to show you. Not much going on. It's a Sunday day. Mama's working. I gotta cook her dinner. We're gonna cook her some chicken. We're gonna use some chicken. I should maybe record it, but I'll think about it. Let me think about it, boys. Chicken. We're gonna use some cream mushroom soup some noodles, and we're gonna make ourselves a chicken dumpling doodad thingamabobber. Hey, right, right we are. But uh, that'll be decent. Gotta clean off the screen, hey? Hey boys, make sure you subscribe, hey? Why wouldn't you? Freaking right you should. Gotta clean that off now. Just decked it over. What do you think of my TV up here? Pretty decent, eh? Gotta hook it up to the stereo, maybe bring the Bose system out, tie her into the other unit somehow, and then we'll be able to jam away. Jam away while I'm cocking away. And I blocked off my windows too, boys, because I had a peeping Tom the other night. He was peeping in my garage, he was. So I said, I'll fucking fix you, I will. So I taped her off, boys. What do you think? Pretty decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. Private bills of hey? Friggin' right. It's a little darker in here now, though. That's the only problem. Can you still see me? I hope so. Are you going to be able to see me if I'm working on the bench? Let's test it, boys. Can you see me okay? Everything look good over here? Too not too black? Decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. Anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like me and not doing anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.